Hello, this is the Watchdog, and welcome back to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Today we have a double unboxing video for you. I have one watch I got from AliExpress, and another one I got directly from Bowdery. Let's start out with the wrist check. I'm wearing this LG XIG LM021, and Greg was wearing a Nabasi 2628. These are both Day-Date President homages, and I just... Re did a comparison video of both of them. So if you haven't seen it yet, be sure to check it out. Gregory asked Black Kirsten Tan to come up with a playlist of his favorite songs. He came up with Black Dog, Back in Black, Black Water, Paint It Black, and You Light Up My Life. Gregory said, You Light Up My Life seems kind of out of character. Kirsten Tan said he has a sensitive side. There's more to him than just yanking off people's arms. Okay, let's start with the AliExpress watch first. And I know what it is. This will not be a surprise. And we have a Cadison. This familiar Cadison box. And we have the warranty card. And I can never figure out if this little stamp is supposed to be a signature or not. And then we have the instructions. We have a sign cleaning cloth. Then we have a sizing tool. And then we have the watch. And as you can see, this looks a lot like a Speedy. So let's get the plastic off and see what it looks like on the wrist. I got this watch recently because I was watching a unboxing video of this watch from the I Like Watches guy. And he got the black one and he was having a heck of a time getting the pins out. And so I just wanted to know if that was a he was theorizing that it was because he got the PVD clothed black one and that was kind of interfering with the pins. And I just figured, well, I better get one that's not PVD coated and see if I can get the pins out without much of a hassle. So that's the main reason I got this one because he was given the recommendation not to buy this because of that. And I just wanted to confirm that fact. If I have if issues getting the pins out, I'll let you know during the review. But so far, it seems like a good watch. I I kind of was on the fence about getting this one because it's a small second chrono. And I'm not really a fan of small second chronos in this price range. I mean, it wasn't super expensive, but it wasn't no... $20 watch either so but yeah as you can see it's a small second chrono press the top button and then the chrono and there's no sub seconds but it is a nice looking watch it's got this I got the one with the Snoopy colors and once again I wanted to verify to see if I could get these pins out with much of an issue or not so i will let you know during the review but it is a i like this dial it's textured you don't really notice that from the ads and then the sub dials have a nice sunburst effect and maybe this isn't a speedy homage no because it the bezel is an inner bezel not an outer so, but it is the Snoopy colors though. So maybe that's what threw me off. So let's put it on the wrist and see what it looks like. Here's the watch on size of my seven and a half inch wrist. And look at this though, I can only get two fingers underneath. So I'm not going to be removing a lot of links. Maybe just one, possibly two. And this is a butterfly clasp. And as you can see, there are no half links. And these links aren't huge, but they're not tiny either. So hopefully I can get a good fit. All right, on to the next watch. I went ahead and removed a link 
it came right out i had no difficulty whatsoever so i don't know if, if it's because the i like watches guy got the pvd coated black one if that was what was giving him difficulty but no this link came right out but as you can see though i only removed one so if you have a big wrist you're going to need some more links okay let's get this watch open this one i did not get from aliexpress even though bow dairy does sell watches on aliexpress i saw this on facebook i saw their ad and i ordered this quite a while ago because this is a new watch they were coming out with and they were taking pre-orders and it took a long time to get a little bit longer than they were expecting so i finally got it the other day so hopefully this is a good watch it wasn't that expensive for the pre-order price i don't know if the price goes up now that they released them but we'll see wow it comes in a big old box comes with a sizing tool so this will have push pins of course i've been burned before i got a watch once with a sizing tool like that and it has screw pins and i'm pounding away pounding away and until i finally realized it has screw pins okay big old box and it's not a clamshell. And okay, this is an unboxing. Let's go over the contents. All right. So even when you get the card from Bow Dairy dir directly, you still get an unsigned card. And that's it. No instructions. Of course, we don't need instructions but here it is this is a gmt watch and it's made of titanium and i'm kind of worried okay it's going <laughs> usually just pulling it out of the box and messing with it will get a automatic going so i was worried i had a dead on arrival at first but no, it's ticking. This has an NH34 on it, and it's made of titanium. So that was the appeal. And so as you can see, this is a big watch. But if you're going to make a watch out of titanium, why wouldn't you make it big? There's no real point in making a small watch out of titanium, because the whole point of titanium is it's so much lighter than steel. And so you can make a big watch that wears light. So if you make a small watch that wears light, it just feels really, really light. And so why would you want to do that? So this is a this is a big watch, you can tell. But I mean it's not huge. But it's not small either. So let's get this plastic off and we'll put it on the wrist and see what it looks like. But I am Excited to finally get this. I ordered this a long time ago, but I got it for a pretty good pre-order price. And I, once again, I got it on an ad when I saw it on Facebook. I didn't use AliExpress, and I don't even know if they sell this on AliExpress yet or not. I'll have to look. But let's spin the bezel. Ah, oh, it's a true GMT bezel. It's bi-directional. And it's a 24 click bi-directional bezel. So this is a true GMT bezel. A lot of these affordable GMT watches will have a diving bezel. So it's nice to have the bi-directional. So it makes the bezel a lot easier to use. Now it's a 24 click, not a 48. So if you go to one of those places that does daylight savings through a half hour instead of an hour, that kind of throws everything off. But who's going to ever go there? But this is a NH34 powered GMT with a bi-directional bezel. So that's pretty good. And as you can see, it's got a J-style bracelet. And it's got polished inners and brushed outers. And it has a clasp. 
So let's throw it on the wrist and see what it looks like. Here's the watch on size, my seven and a half inch wrist. Oops, got some more plastic I've missed. It looks nice, but look at this though. Only two fingers again. So this is another watch that does not get the Johane seal of approval. So if your wrist is much bigger than mine, you might want to ask for some extra links on this one. Because again, this is titanium, so you can't just throw any old link on this thing. Okay, well, thank you for watching my unboxing video. And I will be back with a review. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. And if you like that Caddison, I'll leave you an affiliate link from AliExpress and I'll get a small commission. And once again, I don't know if this is a Bodary is available on Ali yet. Because I got this from Bodary directly as from a pre-order. But I'll leave a link to that. And if I find this on Ali, I'll put a link for that too. Bye.